Using a sword in the reverse grip was more popular than some people think. Here are two examples of it being used in a medieval fencing manual. I mean, it's kind of one example, but done twice. Anyway, the sword isn't being used to slash or even thrust in this instance. It's being used to trip your opponent. And if you're thinking, oh, that's not real reverse grip, I mean, it, it's a sword in the reverse grip and it's being used in a fight. What more do you want? Now you might think, why are they using the reverse grip in this instance when, you know, you could just have the sword being down in a regular grip? Wouldn't that be better? Well, let's think about it. One advantage that the regular grip has over the reverse grip is more mobility in the wrist. You know, you can cut like that pretty easily. You can do a lot with your wrist. You've got a lot of movement that you can do. However, in the reverse grip, you don't really have that much movement with the wrist. You're pretty limited biomechanically, and that's generally a bad thing. However, in this instance, I think that that's a good thing. Because if you're using the sword in a regular grip like this, then you've got a lot of space that you can move with the wrist right here. So you're using all your muscle to keep that opponent right here and keep force applied so that way they actually trip over the blade. And if you're not doing that and they step back, they can just, you know, your wrist moves. However, if you're using the reverse grip, then you've got your muscles and the fact that your wrist can't really move that much in this angle. So that detriment is actually a benefit in this instance. And also let's look at what the intent of this move is to do. Get your opponent on the ground. And once they're on the ground, you could go at them with a sword in a regular grip. And you could even have sword down there. However, however, I personally think that it's more intuitive to just reverse grip with both hands in the half sword. So that way you know you can get down on the ground and go for an eye slit or something. Anyway, that's just two instances of medieval reverse grip. I kind of want to make this a series because there are a lot of instances of it.